Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys which items I've been using at the most. Because I really, really like them and um, basically what I've kind of ran out of um, at the moment. So that gives you guys an insight of what products I like and what I use and what works for me and things like that. So I do have a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing now, this blue wing liner. So I'm just going to get into the items um, and let's just get started. So the first two items are eyeshadows and I use these as um, sort of like a base all over my eyes. I always do my foundation on my face and onto my eyelids and then I take some sort of a shadow um, that kind of uh, matches my skin. Something a little on the ivory matte side. Um, so the ones I always use are this one by number by the body shop and it's number 13 up and the other one is brulee brulee by mac so whatever you can still see in the outer edges they're really similar i think uh the number 13 from the body shop is a little lighter and i kind of favor number 13 by the body shop but these are two items that are practically empty and i always use all the time i love them as a highlight too under my brow because i really don't like shimmery stuff even in here like i have now highlighted um it's this one by the body Sh two blushes that um are not gone but i have hit pan on are um this one by mac and this is called pink swoon it's my favorite bubblegum pink color it makes you think sort of like that baby doll look um, I know everyone knows this one. This is Pink Swoon by MAC and um, I highly recommend it. And um, the next one is this one by Sonia Kashuk and the color is Petal 01. So it's a cream blush and I love, love, love this color. Um, it's a perfect sort of pink corally color and being that it's cream it's best for people with dry skin or if you do use it. Um, use it under your regular blush as a base. So put this one on first and then set it with a powder uh, blush. If you want to wear it on its own, it's best for people with dry skin because it is cream. Um, the next item is this bronzer by Smashbox and I haven't finished it but I have hit pan a long time ago and I would have finished it if it hadn't been because I started using the Rimmel one. Um, I would have been finished this one but this is Smashbox Bronze Light Bronzer in the color Suntan Matte and I absolutely love it. It's not orange and it's not shimmery and it doesn't look dirty on my skin. So love that one. The next item is my concealer and this is my favorite concealer. It's MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm in the shade in the shade NC30. I love this concealer. It cleans up really nicely. It covers my um, dark circles, my blemishes, um, any acne that I have. Um, it's a really, really good concealer. It doesn't flash back. And I know everyone has heard how great it is. So once again, it's Studio Finish Concealer NC30 by MAC. And another thing is this uh, eyeshadow by CQ. You can find it only at Walmart. Um, and the color is Bark. And I use this for my eyebrows. Um, I like this one and Brun by MAC. Let me show you Brun. This is Brun. Brun is a little more ashy and it looks a little more natural, but this one works good for everyone. This is only like $3 at the store. I really, really like it. I've been using it for a long time. Once again, it's by CQ. You can find it at Walmart and the color is Bark. The next items are a couple of lip items and... Um, and I'm going to start start talking about the lip liners first. The ones I use a lot when I'm doing makeup on people are these two here. And this one is by Set. You can also find it at Target. And it's a rose color. And the color is Bali. So it's sort of like a rose natural lip color. Um, love, love, love it. It had this smudger. I never used it. But... Um, once again the color is Bali and it's just sort of like that rose nude sort of color and another lip color is this one and you can see how tiny that is this is by Boutique you can find it at Sally's Beauty Supply and it's also a nude liner but with no pink um, undertone to it so it's more natural and um, the color is natural so Sally's Beauty Supply the brand is Boutique and the color is natural 
And another lip liner that I also really like that I know you guys have seen me wear also is this one by Rimmel London and the color is 063 East End Snob. I already have a backup of it because I love, 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 love this pencil. It's perfect for, it's sort of like a baby pink color, so it's perfect when you're using um, any type of light pink lipsticks. Um, so that's what I love this one for. And the next lip item is this lipstick by Revlon and the color is Soft Nude and this is completely gone. And I love it because it's a nude but it's um, it has a little bit of a pink undertone to it so it's a really natural nude. It looks really similar to my lips, just a lot better. Um, along with Honey Love by MAC, this is the perfect nude for me. Um, once again, Revlon Soft Nude. I also really like um, this sugar treatment and I finished it up and not even on myself I used it um, doing makeup on guys and this has SPF 15 and it's by Fresh and um, it has a lemon scent to it which I really like and guys have really liked it they uh, were constantly asking me throughout the photo shoot to put on their lips because we were by the beach and their lips were getting really chapped so this worked really really good and I'm gonna purchase a full size one which is a lot bigger and um, but this is empty and I really like it and I will be repurchasing it Urban Decay and it's a primer potion and I don't use it for myself but I do use it on my clients because you always want to make sure that the eyeshadow is gonna last and I do have a backup of it and I do recommend it um, the next the next thing is this uh, MAC lip gloss. It looks like it still has some, but it's pretty much empty and the color is Poetic License. And it's a nude and it goes excellent with Revlon Soft Nude. And the next two items are foundations and these are my favorite foundations and they're currently empty. And one is L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color W4. I love this because it has nice nice amount of coverage it doesn't smell it lasts all day and it looks natural and the other one is Clinique repair wear and my color is 09 beige and I also like this because it's full coverage but it doesn't break me out it doesn't clog up my pores it's just a really nice foundation and obviously it's um, fragrance free and all that other good stuff um, next I have a, a liner and I actually um, want to talk about another one too. This is Urban Decay um, Zero Liner. So that's what's left of it. And I really liked it because it was waterproof. Um, but it's $21. So instead of using or repurchasing this one, again, like I always do, I started buying the NYX one. But that one's completely gone and I just threw it away and completely forgot. Um, but NYX has one that's called Slide On Glide On Waterproof Pencil in Jet Black. And it's also waterproof, stays really good um, in the waterline, and it's a fraction of the cost. So Urban Decay Zero and NYX um, Jet Black Waterproof Pencil. And lastly, my Duo Lash Glue. I always use this. I obviously have to have backups of it, but it's waterproof. It lasts. Um, hardly ever do your lashes come off with this one. And um, this one's the clear one, the one that dries clear. So those are all my empties for the moment. Um, I know that they will change um, according to whatever I'm using at the time, but those are my empties right now. And I just wanted to talk about them so I can just go ahead and throw them away. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys like this, and I hope it's a little insight to what I like and whatnot. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.